All right, I'm continuing with the tile around the channel drain. Again, using my tile grate as a nice guide to keep things lined up. We're leveling the tiles out right now. Just trying to make things as flat as possible here so you don't stub your toe in the shower. And this will all be grouted in as a final step. All right, now we're going to install our backer board along the base of the pan, and then we'll apply tile on top of that. We're putting the back piece, or the walls of this shower, on top of the tiles to create an extra pan seal. It's called a labyrinth seal, actually. You, your membrane is up underneath it. So this way, if water comes in, it still has the membrane to protect you from getting water back into the infrastructure of your house. This step would normally be done after our tiles have all set and dried. You would want to do this step once you've completed this and given it a good 24 hours to a set. We're using a countersunk screw here so that the two, top of the screw is flush with the top of the uh, backer board so it doesn't create a bump or a lump underneath the tile. All right, while we're still a little bit wet here, why don't we clean this drain out? Trimming out a little overhanging membrane here. We're going to use the tile grate here to give that nice uniform, sort of minimalistic look here in this setup. I've put some shims in the base of my drain just to get the tile up to the proper height. You can use shims or you can use different levels of mastic uh, and use a, again use a proper adhesive to bond your tile to the stainless steel. I'm just going to test fit it here and I'm going to put a little dab of adhesive underneath here. And again, this edge here can be finished in with a colored uh, adhesive or colored silicone to make it a nice finished edge to match your grout. And we're actually a little bit high on our tile grade here. One way to adjust that would have either been to put a little more underneath the tiles, or we like to do a final adjustment of simply grinding down the legs a little bit here to fit it properly. And just run this up against the grinder. Uh, any standard uh, disc grinder will do that for you. Okay, now we're going to put the backsplash tiles on. <laughs> 